Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another kitchen gadget style haul. Yeah, I'm not sure if you remember, but a couple of weeks ago, or even maybe months maybe ago a month now, now, Kate went to this big kitchenware exhibition and she brought back a load of stuff and we did a haul. Yes. And one of the companies in that haul was Dream Farm. And we absolutely loved their other products, yeah. didn't we? Well, we looked through the catalogue and we were just like, these people make the most awesome stuff, please. And can like you the send most it clever that, gadgets, yeah. aren't they? And we've been lucky enough to get a whole box full. So we're going to test out some of those products and tell you if we think they're worth you if spending your money on. Yeah. We might even be able to do a little giveaway here. Oh, should we do a little giveaway in I this video? I think we should. It will be linked down below, first yeah. line of the description. It'll probably be like a two week thing again. If anyone can enter, well, it will be worldwide as yeah. again because there's you've no plugs gotta, in here or yeah, anything. You've just got to be subscribed. 18 we years will, older. Yeah, we will send this anywhere around the world. Um, when we say 18 years or older, you can get your parents if you're younger. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're like, below 18, that's fine. Yeah. Just get your parents to sign up. Yeah. Okay, we got some bubble wrap. Yay. This video isn't sponsored, but they no. did send us all these things. But it's going to work for all of us because some of you are going to win something awesome as well. Yeah. Oh, no, I was super excited about these. They look cool, don't they? These are called Lev Ups. Oh, I like the way they do this. Lev this is like the they product really name. They really mix them in, and then don't it's like they? Lev Ups are measuring cups that squeeze to scrape a level and accurate measure. Oh. If this works, I'll be so happy because sometimes I do American recipe, so I need cups, but I always get my knife out and scrape the top. So if this does this in the cup itself, well then you don't need to dirty knife. Well, you don't knife. need to get something don't... extra, yeah. You can just... Oh, and they and come they all, compact. And they fit together, so you're going to be able to put them in the cupboard all together. Oh, and look, they kind of like thingy together, so you can't oh, lose you can them. Oh, pop them off. Pop them Let's together. Oh, so wow. I've got the quarter cup here. Not only are these cups, they've got mills in. Mills and ounces. What I love as well is, so they're springiness, but this has got like a little pivot on it. So as oh, you yeah. go across, it makes sure it's really flat. Yeah. In some ways at first, it does seem a bit flimsy, but it's all you'll need because it's only going to be like flour that you're levering off, yeah. isn't it? Personally, I feel like I could now get rid of all of my other measuring things because you've got the cups in here, you've got mills. Mm. How good? And what's, what's this? this is so good. This has got. Cups I love those. And mills and ounces. Um, and just in case you don't win anything in this giveaway or you're wanting something from this box, we will leave a kit to links to every single product so you can buy them for yourself. I would definitely recommend those. Yeah, I think they're really cool. And I don't do as much baking as you, but I would love those purely for the ease. I feel like this would be, that would be a really so, good like little housewarming present mm. because you know when you've just like moved into a house or whatever and you're not that much of a baker? Yeah. If you get those, you've got your cups, you've got your like a yeah. jug, really. And also I think they look they cool look as well. They look cool and they all sit together, and sorry. I love, I love the Dream Farm blue. Yeah, sorry I'm smirking because of the next one. Why, what is it? It's a scissor. Scissor is a pizza cutter that perfectly slices any pizza, cuts safely on any surface and serves. Right, I was gonna say hands up. In the comments, let you me know. You can still put their hands up. There was a bit of a debate when I was in college. Yeah. Do you cut your pizza with a pizza roller or scissors? Or are you just normal and cut it with a knife and fork? But you know when you're sharing a pizza, so many people at my college cut their pizzas with scissors. But that's because they're students. students. Students do yes. things like that I because that, I a students, when they have a house, it's not like when you're a student in the house, you don't go, oh, I'm going to buy a pizza roller. You don't have enough money to buy a pizza roller, do you? No. And you'd rather probably be spending money on something else. Oh, wow. It's got a safety cap. So <laughs> this is awesome. So you can easily, you probably didn't even need to touch it. You just lift, put it under. Because the thing is, for me, the game changer was a pizza roller. They are so much better than yeah. just trying to cut it up. But the How fact that feel? these are just normal, not normal scissors, they are like Put really your fingers nice. in there. No. Try <laughs> like, really it really nice. Okay. Surely it depends what size pizza you get. Is that a full slice? No, but you obviously go cut, oh, cut, cut. you have to cut. go through, yeah. Now we really wanted to try this, didn't we? This is a spink. A spink. A spink sounds like something, um, like for a child. Yeah. So a spink is a cup holder that sticks to your table so you never spill another drink. Stick, bump, no spill. I really like their packaging, how like simple it is. And clean. And I love and the use explains. of that blue. 
just rinse to renew. A clean sticky pad means a sticky spink. This would be really cool in an office. Yeah. I'll put oh, that. it really is sticky, isn't it? Yeah, shall I put it like here? Yeah. Put it fit. Oh, yeah. even for the largest of jars. It fits the large thing, so. Oh, that's solid. Oh my word. No one is. Oh no, how are we even gonna get it off the table? We need to like put it here so everyone can see. There? Yeah, there. there. Cause then if we knock it, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. It'll prove it's Let's point. leave it right in the middle for this. <laughs> I just can't believe how. How have people with kids, no, this needs to be in on uh, mummy blogs. Like yeah. mum blogs. Mummy blogs. Like, you're not gonna spill that. That's so awesome. Kill you're literally- I just did, I thought it'd be strong and I thought it would work, but I didn't expect it to be no, that powerful. No, that's really good. That's so cool. Mm. If you are in a study or an office, I think that's really good because I've spilled quite a few drinks over my yeah. keyboard, haven't I? The only thing is, it probably only works on certain surfaces. Yeah, maybe. Is it, shall we try it on wood quickly? Work on just wood. so we can, just for the uh, test. Oh my word. It's on wood. It works on wood. Can you see this back here? No. No. And really, the only surfaces you have are like wood and... That has picked up a lot of debris, but we that really that. works on wood. I did not think that would no, work. No, that's awesome. I thought it would only work on these like shiny surfaces. No, it's obviously so sticky. But that's mm. probably why you need to wash it every yeah. now and then. Right. That's amazing. Sweet. I would say that's, that's a 10 out of 10. That's saving, saving people's lives. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. This is a garject. A garject. That sounds like something off um, Doctor Who. Garget is a garlic press that presses unpeeled garlic, scrapes itself clean, and even ejects the peel. What? It's just doing everything for you. Presses unpeeled garlic, scrapes itself clean. And this has actually even won three design awards. The Good Design Award, Good Design, and Product Design Award 2013. How cool is that? Well, that's ingenious. Oh, it's a beast. Yeah. It's a beast. No wonder it's heavy. Ready? You put the garlic in, you press it, you open it back up, it pushes the garlic off, you keep pushing, pushes through the holes, eject. Isn't it? Yeah, That's it. you don't even need to peel them first. So once you put the garlic in, you don't even need to touch it. Because that is one of the worst things. I love putting garlic in food, but I always chop it with a knife, and then afterwards I'm like. But there oh. is part of me that enjoys having garlic on my fingers. I'm sure you could still rub your fingers on garlic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Garlic. So that's super cool. Do you want to get garlic? Who could have known pressing garlic was going to be so exciting? Right, do you mind if I do the honours? I can always it. get you another piece if you want. Right. So garlic with skin is in. In. I'm going to crush it now. Ooh. 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 Ooh, smell it's really that. liquidy. Sure, I can smell that. Right, so now it's that's crushed. Yeah. Now I'm going to open it back up a bit. It's going to push that down off there. Oh yeah, it actually has. And I've got to do that with my finger. Keep going, push it out the holes, and oh, I should do it somewhere Take else. Somewhere. Tissue. Oh. <laughs> it comes out with quite some force as well. And look, it actually... That's really cool. It really has actually squashed all of that garlic out really, hasn't it? Yeah. It's only oh a word. tiny bit. That is impressive and it's like kept the skin in basically one piece but popped yeah. it open. Moving on! That's cool. I hope we haven't peaked too early now. Hopefully not. Clongs! Open or close with the push of a click button and sit up off your bench. And this also, oh, this won a Red Dot Award in 2010. Oh yeah. Red Dot Award, that's a pretty big deal. So that. this is 12 inch, 30.5 centimeters. But if this won a Red Dot Award in 2010, it's 2018, why am I only just learning about this? Yeah. These are cool, because a lot of the times when we cook, like the spatulas and that, when you put it on the side, yeah. it leaves such a mess, doesn't it? Ooh. Wow, these look fancy. I would go as far as to say it's like the apple of kitchen products. I think so. The box opening experience is so good, isn't it? Yeah. Like you open the box and, look, and it's this really nice shiny product. And it said welcome to Dream Farm. That's cool. They've got a good feel on them actually. Yeah, they? they feel good. Things that are like 
good for you in the kitchen get a bad rap because there's so many things that are like oh you need this in the kitchen yeah. it's like really like as seen on tv but these products aren't like that these are actually well thought out products i kept that thinking I think oh am i need. gonna get pinched my um mm. like little hand chub there Ooh, your but, little hand chub but you don't actually pinch it in between <laughs> Kate's got a little bit of little hand job. We we don't actually have anything like this in the no. kitchen, really. That's really I cool, like isn't that. it? That's cool. And then if I want to keep it like that, I'll just do that. Yeah, that's really cool. Dang. I'd say I'd say that everyone needs something like that in the kitchen, don't yeah. they? Yeah, and Serving considering you don't is... have anything like that, it's funny you should say that. Yeah. Oh, we do have one of these mini sapoon. Well, this is what we got in the last Now, one, I've it? actually seen this on a Facebook video or something. Oh, really? And they were scraping out a Nutella jar. Do you know how you can't get right into the bottom? That's perfect that for those type angle. of jars. And it's also one teaspoon if you wanted to know. And also, it lets you stand up off the counter. Yeah, so you don't get your like... So after you've got your nut butter of choice, you know, yeah. almond for me. You can put it down without any And it tomorrow. won't touch the thing. Oh. Now, not gonna lie, but we've actually had this out of the box for a few um, weeks. Weeks. We've had this on our fridge. Because we couldn't wait. This is awesome. It's called a Grippet. Grippet is a note holder that neatly holds onto the papers you push in and lets go of the papers you pull out. We pop this on our fridge. This just reminds me, like, when I go to restaurants and I see them poke yeah. the things in. This would be really good to poke up, like, what you need from the shops or whatever. Yeah. But what me and Alex want to put in this is actually a piece of artwork. You know yeah. how you can get prints. We wanted to put something like that. But, you know, if you've got kids, you could put their paintings in there, could yeah. you? Or little notes, like, I need to do this on Monday, I need to do that. I don't know if we'll be able to test this out, but this is awesome. This is a tappy. <laughs> tappy is a tap attachment that squeezes to create a drink fountain. <laughs> That's so good, because that is a real life issue that it's, they've solved. Yeah. And this just means you plug this in, and you just squeeze the bottom, and then it's like. Yeah. But it has to be quite a thin tap, doesn't it? Although, actually, yeah. it will always fit on the faucet bit at the bottom. Yeah, surely. Think. Does it work? Yeah. Did you get it over your face? No, I've got a little top tip now that I'm back. Oh, oh there. I'm back, I'm back. Basically, you have to have... It's quite worrying, because you don't want to put the tap on too hard at first. No, yeah. And then it's not... It's oh, less yeah. of, like, a real squirt. It's more of just, like, a bubble over, like a fountain, and then you're just like... Oh, yeah, surely it has to be mm. really powerful yeah. in order to get a fountain. But it does work, and it's really great. I loved every moment. Here is where the giveaway begins. Oof. Because in here we have six of the same things, but we've got different colours. And these are the spadles. The spadles? This is so cool. I so, don't remember seeing this one. Do you not? Spadle is a spoon that turns into a ladle, mm. measures, scrapes the pot clean, and sits up off your bench. They like the setting up off the bench. Okay, so it's a spoon, you twist, and then it's a ladle. And this one looks like it's going to be pink. This one's pink. To make the boys wink. So that is the spoon, isn't it? There's the spoon. And this. No. Oh no, up. twist. <laughs> no, you got no, it. No, it's not that either. One more. That's the ladle. the ladle. Yeah, because it's like this, isn't it? Look. So it's a so big version. Spoon. So in no, here you can't see. Oh yeah, big and little. But you can see a teaspoon measurement, a tablespoon measurement, quarter of a cup, and a hundred mils. Yeah. This is a spatula, so like when you're um, like cooking, yeah. you can scrape off the bottom. And you love a spatula, don't you? Yeah, get everything And that'd everything be good because you don't, again, you don't need another utensil, no. you can use that. So then you can spoon this up and then you can also, see, is that meant to do it all together or? I don't think so. Like, then it's a ladle. Ladle, but mm. then what's that? Oh no. I think that's just an in-between stage. Ladle. That's so cool. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. We've got pink. We've got yellow. I'm pretty sure they're all the same size. Yeah, they must they're be. the same size. Ooh, purple. purple. Snazzy. Ooh, we've got the Dove Farm Blue. Oof. Personal favourite of mine. Oh, I like this. Orange. The orange. Orange is really nice. It's the new black, I've heard. Ooh, and then we've got a green. <laughs> That's a really nice. I was that laughing at yours, not nice, the green. Yeah. yeah. That is a really I nice you green. Were. We're gonna give away five of these. Yep. And, and one, one of these. these. Yeah. And so that's to six different people. Um, link in the description box below. Uh, you can check that out and it will tell you exactly what to do yeah. there. And like with our other giveaway, we're also going to pop a British candy box in there. Yeah. So you could win a candy or a spadle or a mini sapoon. Sounds like a pretty good giveaway to me.
So don't forget, check in the description box. We'll leave the website. We'll leave all the links to all of this in a kit. We'll leave the giveaway link. Mm. So make sure you go onto the giveaway. There's a few different ways you can join the giveaway. Yeah. You can just be subscribed for one entry, but then you can have more entries if you follow us on Insta, Facebook, things like that. Yeah. So get going. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it, did you? I really enjoyed that, even though it's not eating. Yeah. <laughs> There's I, something about kitchen gadgets that I love. Well, I don't know if people know, because we're just always eating food, but I love like uh, technology love, and yeah. gadgets. And all the, though these aren't like digital technology, I just love stuff that yeah. makes life better. We'll be announcing the winner in two weeks. It won't be a video, so keep checking on your subscription feed as it will come up as a post. But if you follow us on Instagram, we'll post it to our stories as well. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.